One month ago, I planted this pumpkin patch here behind me and I wanna show you its amazing growth. So if y'all haven't seen the video, you need to go and check it out. We uh, prepped and planted this whole ginormous area for my pumpkin patch this year. And I also explained in the video when you should plant your pumpkins to be ready for Halloween carving and just the fall time. Uh, because I've seen a lot of people plant pumpkins at the wrong time and you're either getting pumpkins too early and they're overripe for Halloween or um, they're not ready until after the first frost has already happened. So make sure to go check out that video. So before anything, I wanna point out this row right here. So these first two rows are doing really good. This row is average. And then this last row is terrible. Um, I think these plants are just not doing well and it's definitely an issue with sunlight. So when I planted this, I thought for sure it's gonna get enough sun because the sun sets here, but the trees end here and you know, it gets sun all day when the sun is right above it. So I thought they'd be just fine, but there's this little outlet of trees right here and it is definitely blocking the sun, I think, on um, this side of the pumpkin patch. And so these just aren't getting enough sun that they need because pumpkins need a lot of sun. So next year, I, so I have this noted now, next year I'm gonna just cut the patch there and I'm gonna carry it on this way a little bit more because I know that more sun will be on that side. But you know, that's just something I had to learn. I guess, or we could cut the trees, but it'd be easier just to move the patch a little bit. But um, what is doing really well in here is growing amazing. Let me show y'all in here. You know, we are getting squash bug eggs and I just have to come out here and uh, squish them like this. But I'm not seeing any vine borer damage in here like I'm experiencing in the garden right now, which I will show y'all th uh, that in a second after we do this. But um, the vine borers are terrible this year and they're just not... They haven't found this patch yet, which I'm really thankful for because they are the worst. But um, we're getting a lot of flowers. And you know, this is a female because we know that has a little pumpkin on it. And then let me see if I can find you a male flower here. It's not open, but this would be, nope. Yeah, this would be a male flower because there's no fruit under it. So um, that's what pollinates the female flowers. If they get pollinated, they'll start growing a pumpkin. So we're not seeing any pumpkins developed yet, but I'm seeing a lot of these flowers. So it's not gonna be before too long. Um, and you know that these, this row here was planted a couple weeks before this because these have a longer maturity time. And um, you can tell they have a longer maturity time because the plants are literally the same size. But um, I don't think they were planted too close together. They might be planted a little close together. They're starting to run into each other with their runners. But um, I think it's going to be fine. You know, more squash bugs right here. But um, they're just, they're doing really well. So I want to show y'all over there at the garden now what's going over there at my vine crop section. Let me give y'all a little quick look at my peacock though. You know, last time he was in the, in the last video with the pumpkin patch, he was in the middle of losing his train. And now he's just got one feather left he's hanging on to. So mating season is definitely over for him. Right here at the vine crop section, this is doing really, really well. Um, this is all of my cantaloupe and then over there watermelon. And I have been getting so much cantaloupe. You have no idea. Um, it is my favorite thing to eat out of the garden. But if you remember uh, in the video where we planted the pumpkin patch, I added a couple pumpkin plants in here where there were some empty spaces and they're, they're not doing well. So here's one right here and it's just, it's, you know, it's got some problems. And then over here, these were where my Atlantic giant pumpkins were and I was getting fruit development on it. And I even showed y'all, I was so excited about, about it. But they all got killed by vine borers. And you know, with vine borers, here's one I haven't cleaned up yet. You don't know they're there until they're dead. So they're gonna be, they're looking perfectly fine. Then one day you'll come out here, the plant will be completely wilted. And by that point, the borers already gotten to the plant and you've lost your, your pumpkin plant. So um, I was really, really upset about that. But this was a birdhouse gourd that I tucked in here that was growing in the yard. And I moved it here and 
it's going and I've never had a problem with vine fours on the birdhouse gourd. So that one is gonna be fine. But over here, I forgot which pumpkin variety this was that I planted here. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen. Uh, the boars haven't gotten to this yet, but they got to the second plant that was in this mound and it looks like they might be making their way into the stem, but I'm hoping this plant's gonna make it through because look what's on it right here. There's a big old pumpkin on that thing and that's super exciting. Well, there's some squash bugs mating. That's not good. But yeah, I hope that this plant pulls through so that thing can mature. But yeah, this was really upsetting that I lost all my pumpkins here. And um, I'm just going to pop in some uh, cucumber seeds in here to get a crop of those before our frost. But I just don't know what to do with these vine borers. If y'all have any suggestions of how you handle your pumpkins and squash and zucchini from these vine borers like i can hand i can deal with the squash bugs but it's the vine borers that's the problem so if y'all know any ways that you can um, prevent them from your plants please let me know no i just said that i will probably replant cucumbers in these empty spots where my pumpkins were killed but i just changed my mind and i'm actually going to fill it in with some more pumpkin plants here and i can just plant some cucumbers elsewhere in the garden i have plenty of room but um, I have 85 days until my first frost date, or average frost date, is Halloween, uh, October 31st. So I got my pumpkins that have the least maturity time. And I have two varieties here. One is just a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin called Rival. And another one is a grizzly bear pumpkin, which is like a pumpkin that is full of those warts on it, which are really cool. Both of these are 90 days. So it's five days after our first frost date. But I'm going to hope that uh, these can mature in time and we can get a little bit of a harvest on it. But even if we don't, it's good to try um, elsewhere or else there'd just be empty space in here wasted. So I'm going to add in a couple of these in here and hope that the vine borers don't get to them. All right, got all those seeds planted. Um, so I will definitely be keeping y'all updated on this whole pumpkin patch. And once we get some pumpkins developing, I'll 100% make a video for y'all to see. Um, but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.